Hello simulation enthusiasts, welcome to this SimScale video tutorial. In this opportunity, we are going to learn how to use the CAD edit mode for the cleaning up and preparation of an electronic school in simulation project. You can see that I have already opened the SimScale workbench in my Chrome web browser. The CAD model is already uploaded and we can see that it includes the casing as well as the PCV, electronic components and a nice heat sink. To enter the CAD editor, we can select our geometry item from the left hand panel and click the Edit in CAD mode blue button. This will open the CAD editor mode. We will use a method to focus on each part at a time, show the issues with the part and the operations that are necessary to correct them. Let's start with our first part, which is the PCB. To isolate it, I select it from the Right hand, right hand panel and right button, right mouse button in isolate selection. Then I can right click and clear selection. We can see that the PCV has these full four holes and these letters that I want to. For this, I will use the face delete command and select all the faces that I want to delete. For the numbers and letters, I will use the box selection tool to select them all at the same time. Now you can see that my PCB is clean. If I show the heat sink, we will see that there is a small gap here in the back. I don't want any airflow in this region. So I will use the face move command with the option up to entity. So for the face to move, I will select this face of the PCB. And for the target entity, I will select this face of the heat sink. If I hide the casing, you can see that the gap is, is solved. Now we will focus on these two black semiconductor parts. I will isolate them just as I did with the PCB. First, I will remove these holes with the face delete command. Then, as you saw, they are intersecting with the PCB. I will use a Boolean subtraction operation on the two semiconductors using the PCB, which will cut them. As we are left with these small bodies that I don't want for my simulation, I can use the body delete command. Now they are gone. The next parts that we want to fix are the four capacitors and the transformer. We can see that there is a small gap between these parts and the PCB. To get rid of it, I will, we will use the same face move operation. Select the bottom faces move method up to entity and for the target face I will use the top face of the PCB. Hide the casing so we can see that the gap is gone. The next part is this oscillator part. I want to get rid of these chamfers and also of the bottom pins. So I will use the face delete command. For the bottom pins, I will again use the box selection tool, but it selects this bottom face. So I will remove it from the selection. Now you can see that my face is clean. And we can see that there is no gap with the PCB. Now we will focus on the heat sink. Let's isolate it. The heat sink has a number of holes and mounting drills that I want to delete. So again, I will use the face delete command and select all of the holes. 
the drills. For the drills, I need to select both the side and bottom faces. That's it for the top. Now let's check the bottom. Two. This region. Also two underneath the mounted pegs. That is enough. The next issue that I noticed is a is an intersection between the heat scene in this region with this semiconductor. So what I will do is to use a Boolean subtraction operation using this semiconductor part. If I had it now, you can see that the this, this small tail was removed and the intersection is off. The next part that I want to focus on is this fan mounting. You can see that the mounting holes are not in contact with the pegs. So to fix it, the quickest way is to first delete the holes. Which will create this intersection with the pegs. Then I will use a Boolean subtraction of the fan, of the, sorry, of the heat sink from the fan. And now the holes are in perfect contact with the mounting pegs. Now let's do for the general cleanup. I noticed this really small part that would not contribute anything to my simulation, so I will use the body delete operation to get rid of it. The next operation that we will perform is the imprint operation. For multi body parts, simulation, it's always recommended to perform the imprint operation so the contact faces are created for the heat transfer and other interactions. We can see that it was successful. Lastly, we will need to create the flow region. The flow region is a part that fills all the volume for the fluid. So I can use the create flow volume internal in this case. For the seed phase, I can select any phase in contact with the fluid. And for the boundary phase, I will select all the external phases that contain the openings of the casings. Click Apply, and I can see that my flow region is created. I can isolate it so you can quickly see how it fills all the gaps and voids between the parts of the model. Now that we perform all the necessary operations, we can save our work with the blue export button. We can see that SimScale creates a copy of the geometry with all of the modifications that we perform in the CAD edit mode. We can rename it, ready for simulation, save with the blue check mark button. This concludes our video tutorial on CAD cleanup using SimScale and the CAD edit mode. Thanks for your attention and let's meet on the next SimScale tutorial. Happy simulation! Thank you.